What's up, folks? Seth here at Plastic Gals Toy Store. Hope you guys are doing exponentially well today. Living in the USA and parts beyond. We're right here at Facebook.com slash Plastic Gals Shop. And on YouTube, uh, we put the link up there and pin that. That way uh, you know if you'd like to go to YouTube. And, and there's the last thing that I always forget to do. I should write a memo about that. I want to call management and have them do that for us. Hey, can you please let somebody know about that? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, back at it. YouTube link, I put it there and pinned in the in the, uh, po in the comment section. Please go visit that link if you would like to visit us on YouTube. In my opinion, it's a much better uh, brow, uh, much better experience for what we do because it's tailored for video and uh, Facebook is not really about video, although it seems like Facebook Live is everywhere, which is great, but YouTube has a higher, higher resolution and generally speaking, the lag's better and all that good stuff. So you can check us out on YouTube or Facebook. Now, just so we know how this works is we have multiple feeds obviously going out simulcasting and it funnels down to one chat program. So we see both your comments on Facebook and YouTube. So if you claim something on YouTube, we can see it in Facebook. Now, if you're on Facebook, you probably will not be able to see what YouTube sees and vice versa. So please understand that. If I say Joe Bob Blow, whatever, um, has claimed this or what have you, you're like, well, I don't see that. That's because you're on a different platform. You could obviously have both of them open if you like, and you could do that if you want to. In my opinion, Facebook, YouTube is much faster, and uh, we've done some benchmark tests on that, and they're just always better than Facebook as far as lag. So there you have it, my uh, my uh, 30 seconds on, on YouTube. Okay, we're back here every Thursday and Sunday night, and uh, parts and beyond. We do all kinds of stuff. And... Um, Generally speaking, we're here two bucks a week. Sometimes we have a, a you know a different schedule depending on if we're out on the road, things like that that we can't do it. We try to do things from the road, but it really is uh, dependent upon um, uh, uh, internet signal, right, or things like that. You know, it depends on how good the internet is. You know, we're on a, out mobile. Sometimes you have crappy internet. You know that you know the internet get, uh, interstate. You don't have internet. Well, guess what? Works for us too. Don't have a magic pipeline to internet, unfortunately. Um, so having said that. Check back with us. Stay, stay tuned. Follow us. All that good stuff. And like I said, the, the uh, post for YouTube is pinned. So check that out. We have a good sale for you tonight. About 20 items. We do a short and sweet sale. We use about 30 to 45 minutes and we're done. We'll cut you loose. Got some cool items. You know, we kind of specialize in different items that you, you know, kind of uh, funnel down things. You know, we try not to have a whole bunch of like spay here all night with five, six dollar items, what have you. And that's nothing wrong with that. It's just we just want to tailor it to make it a better experience for you guys. That way you know exactly what you're kind of getting every time with us and all that good stuff. So um got some really cool items. Some brand new items that just came out. Another really cool item. We've got some vintage. We've got some movie related items, all Star Wars. We've got some um 40th anniversary stuff. We've got some Mandalorian stuff. Jing, jing, jing. That's like like a dinner bell, right? Um, we've got some more black, a lot of cool black series, loose complete. And we're going to start off tonight with a loose black series complete figure for us. Over on camera number two, we fired up the old camera over there. And we've got a cool piece for you. This will be PG number one. We have a complete Luke Jedi with cloak and blaster and saber. Easily probably a thirty dollar loose figure, thirty five to forty dollars box. There you have it. If you want to pick up a nice Luke Jedi figure, complete with his palace blaster and com and with his saber, and then of course his cloaks behind it. PG one. We've got some black series for us tonight. We haven't had any in a while. We got some more. So there you have it. PG one for twenty four. Luke Jedi, fan favorite. Obviously Luke Jedi Knight. Got the cloak in the back, the uh, palace blaster, and his correct green saber. Might I say? PG number one taking Luke Jedi. There you have it. Give me one second. We've got some other stuff coming your way, so stand by. More Black Series. We've got uh, some Black Series boxed. We've got some really cool Mando stuff that I that I did trade for a lot, uh, lot too long, uh, not too long ago. And we've got a few other things as well, so stand by for that. PG-1, 24, Luke Jedi, complete with Saber. Scott M. Scott M. Chime in. What's up, Scott M. Up there in... Uh, up there in Kansas, right there. Cool. Thank you, Scott. Okay, up next. What are we gonna do next? Hmm. Okay, let's try this. This is brand new, and I mean like literally brand new. I've got some Funko stuff in it, and not Funko Pops. I used to kind of get into Funko Pop stuff, but it's just all over the place. And so, but I, I do like some of their, their other stuff they come out with. And this is a 40th anniversary, with still with the tags on it. Empire Strikes Back, and probably the coolest scene right there, right? On the platform there in the uh, carbon chamber. Empire Strikes Back, 40th anniversary with the tags. This is super cool. Clean, of course, brand new. Brand spanking new. PG-14. 
We had a Mando one that sold quickly like this too. With the tag still on it, PG-14 for $24. I've got a, a couple more of these and that's it. i got a select amount of these in and that's it. I don't order a whole lot of Funko stuff, but hey, this is what it is. We have more stuff coming in next week. Some more vintage collection stuff as well, so stand by for all the latest and greatest from Star Wars. We try to keep it in and when it goes, it goes. PG-14 for 24 Empire Strikes Back, 40th anniversary. Chee Lee, awesome piece there. Thank you, Chi. That's a great customer. I appreciate that. All of our customers are great. Appreciate you guys. That's a cool lunchbox. I like the yellow. They went with the yellow. Oh, there it is. Chili. Okay. Not chili. Chili. <laughs> okay. This next piece is an awesome, awesome, awesome item. This is the, I think it was a GameStop exclusive Black Series Inferno. Excuse me. Inferno Commando, I forgot I forgot his actual name, let me uh, alert down, uh, just Inferno Squad Commander, something like that, PG-11 for $29, awesome, awesome piece, GameStop exclusive, can't find these anymore, and he's bad to the bone, box ones, like I said, we usually take them off about 10 bucks off a boxed item, cost, so they're about 40-ish dollars, so you got 29 bucks there, PG-11, awesome piece, and this is a menacing, uh, Inferno Squad, I think it's Inferno Squad Commander, or Inferno Commander, something like that, it looks like a TIE pilot, obviously, with the, uh, with the red, uh, the red helmet, and of course it, uh, the E11 blaster, awesome piece, really cool figure. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the uh, all the uh, pilots, ADAT drivers, things like that. I love their masks. PG11 for 29 bucks is the Inferno. I can't. What? Hold on a second. This is going to drive me wild. Give me one second. I got to. This is on the fly. I've got to figure out. Let me see here real fast. Stand by. Stand by, Houston. <laughs> like the SpaceX standby. Um, Inferno Squad Agent. That's what it was called. My my bad. That's exactly. What it, Inferno Squad Agent. There it is. Boom. Awesome piece. Exclusive right there. Boom. 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 All right. Back over to me. We go back over here. What up next? We have got some Black Series. I don't have. I've got a lot of Black Series. Not a whole. A decent amount. Here we go. This is one that I did a trade deal for just the other day, and I haven't seen one of these one seen one of these uh, Black Series boxed since what was it January or February? The hunted, the sought after, carbonized Mandalorian ninety four. Everybody wants these things, man. I, I get hit up with them people all the time wanting this figure. I remember I had a couple in back when they came out, and that was it. And they're just scarce. Everybody wants these. Anyway, PG twenty. For 69 bucks, there it is, the Carbonized Mandalorian. Everybody is just going crazy over the Carbonized stuff. They obviously did different figures as well, but that's super cool. I'm not sure what exclusive this was. Maybe Target, or I don't think it was exclusive. I think it was at Target, Walmart, a few others, but obviously no longer available, at least to my knowledge. PG-20, $69 for the Carbonized Mando. Everybody's after that one, so there it is if you need it. Alan G, it's a good box. Thank you, Alan G. Uh, no major issues, like I said. Uh, still, still taped. Alan G got that one. PG-20. And that is a cool one. I, I've got some more Mando stuff coming up, so stand by. Um, yep. All right. Uh, the next piece we have coming up, is this it here? Yeah. Is PG number two, and this one, it, what's it called? I forgot. Um, uh, oh, Yeah. Uh, okay, this is a cool one right here. I'm gonna uh, a price tag up there in just one second. We'll do that here in a minute. But let's let's move along to something different. Okay, this is a cool piece right here. Got I did a trade with somebody, one of my buddies, and he had a whole bunch, a lot of non Star Wars stuff, but, a, but some Star Wars stuff as well. And that stuff will all be coming up for sale shortly. Transformers, G1, I mean, Mask, um, uh, what's the other Brave Star, all that cool vintage stuff outside of Star Wars, obviously, and um, some He Man and so forth. Okay, this is a cool custom piece. 100% custom, obviously, but I was when I when I saw this in the lot, I was like, man, this is a cool item because it kind of reflects the time period right now, right? But this is a custom by Suckadelic is the name of the brand, and you don't see these come up very often, but they're super cool and some hard card stock, and this is how the bubble was on there. This was Dr. Wolkowski, MD, Infected. Um, really cool piece. If you look right there, if you check out as the body organs inside, you see the brain inside the Stormtrooper awesome piece these are customs of course and uh i 
you know, I saw, I've only seen one other for sale, and he won like 150 bucks for it, so I, I figure it's, that's a little bit out there, but hey, this is what it is, a cool custom, and this is how the bubble is taped on there, that's how it was done, uh, obviously a fan-made deal. PG-12 for $69 infected, I think that's cool with the biohazard thing, just the times being with the contagious stuff going around, it makes a lot of, you know, kind of sense to, uh, to kind of combine it, but anyways, PG-12 for $69, a custom piece right here. You can call it a bootleg if you will, but I call them custom. People call them different things. But there you have it. PG-12 for, for $69. It's a custom card. You can see in the back some more of the artist's work that he does in the back there. A cool card and a thick card back, so you can never mistake this as, you know, for like a, a production piece, if you will, like I say. And something different. I saw this in there and thought I'd throw it out there. Uh, you can see the detail on it. The brain is in there. I don't know if you can see that really well, but it's a cool piece. Something different for sure. Heavy card stock. So there you have it. PG-12, 69 for the infected uh, Stormtrooper looking character. Okay, back over here. PG number two, another Black Series piece. This one is the... Um, Sith, I forgot, I keep wanting to call him Crimson, but the Sith Trooper, awesome piece, 100% complete with both weapons, that's a badass figure, these boxed are about 50 bucks, so take advantage here, about $15 off for a loose complete one, awesome, awesome piece, good shape, obviously, both the red uh, accessories come with them, and uh, Sith, uh, excuse me, uh, Sith Trooper, I believe, uh, what was it called again? Sith Trooper, Sith Trooper yeah, I, I don't I'm just not up on the Black Series as much as I used to be, but I guess this is the quote-unquote Sith Trooper. PG-2 for $34, another awesome piece. And, of course, all the accessories are there, and they are the correct color and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, I don't really get into, like I said, the new stuff so much, so I am kind of have to catch up on the on what's the latest and greatest, but I just know that these are sought after. All these loose figures I have tonight are discontinued and or, you know, you can't find them anymore unless you go on the secondary market. But there you have it, PG-2 for $34, the Sith Trooper. Back over here to me. Up next. Let's do this one. Here we go. Uh, I got just two of these in, but just check this out. I only have two sizes of this. This is another 40th, 40th uh, anniversary for, for Empire Strikes Back. And this is for Funko as well. 40th anniversary for Empire Strikes Back. This is the video game, right? But the cool thing about it is it has a t-shirt inside with some of the, uh, the vintage style graphics, right? With the at-at. But the cool thing, like I said, on the side looks like the, the artwork on the Empire Strikes Back video game. And this is the size large on this t-shirt. This is PG-7 for $29. Cool shirt. Open it if you want. Obviously, it's got some really nice a nice, uh, nice gray shirt in there. Unopened, of course. And uh, hey, it's a cool shirt to wear. I uh, only got two of these, two different sizes. So I'll have the other size coming up later. But this is $29. Bucks. PG-7, unopened shirt. Arcade style. PG-7 for $29. Bucks. There it is. Mr. D? Mr. D. I don't know who Mr. D is, but hello, Mr. D. Hook you up. Don't forget to contact us, folks. After the sale, we will get you taken care of via PayPal and ship you out. Uh, there you have it. Boom. That th kind of threw us for a loop here on Monday because it was a moral day, which is a holiday, so we had to take an extra day But because I couldn't, I couldn't physically take it anywhere, right? I had to wait. Okay, up next, we have got another piece. Let's do this one. This is something that I know some people out there may get into. This was mine. Um, and cut, cut loose of a couple things here and there, so not a whole lot of stuff, just stuff that I've had over the years. This was from last year from the archive party at Star Wars Celebration. So if you know what that is, uh, you have to pay to get into that, and they'll have a limited number of seats, and then I think there's like maybe 100 or so, and then it always sells out every year, and they give away some really cool stuff that you can only get there, and it's not, it's not a cheap ticket to get in this thing either, and I was actually a sponsor, so it was even more expensive, but it's cool. It's good for, it was for good cause, but they made a... Uh, a select number of these things, kind of a mashup of Jabba the Hut and uh, it's called Chessu the Cat is what this thing is called, and Alice in Wonderland. So there it is. The cool thing about it is you get the the uh, the line art style box, which it was uh, the Jabba came out with allegedly a Sears mail away thing, but who knows? Um, but this is cool because you get the really super cool chest through the cat so you can see the face it's hand painted it's hand done obviously this is not a production piece or anything like that it's got some weight to it would make it a really good paperweight or just a really cool display and man he's just smiling away right so you get the box and then of course it came with some um some wrapping as well which that'll, that'll come with too it's something cool i mean i've seen them sell for a couple hundred bucks but i'm just going to just get them out there if somebody wants this kind of stuff pg 16 149 Something you can't find anywhere else as far as um, you had to get in the at the uh, celebration at the archive party only. It was an exclusive there. So it's something you 
you really couldn't get it unless you were invited, unless somebody sold the stuff off. Because they only made so many of them, and when those were done, they didn't make other runs of them. Something different, something cool. It's got some weight to it as well. The cool box. I, I like the box. But, you know, I mean, I like the, the item too, but I like how they, on the side, they did the box as well, or the artwork as well on there. Chester the Cat, it just says collectible. So there you have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she wants to keep it. <laughs> Dave Mantelli. Thank you, David, for uh, sparing me this, this, the, the, uh, this shelf space. Dave Mantelli, there you have it. <laughs> yeah, you did. You saw that when I got that home last year. <laughs> okay, up next, where are we at? Okay, let's do a vintage piece. This is my last vintage cardist piece from the last sale we had, and this is a <laughs> really ridiculously awesome prize for this piece. This is PG number, is this 19, the one, the Lando? Yeah, PG-19. This will come with a star case. This is a crystal clear, bu crystal clear bubble, 65 back. Like I said, don't mind this. The green screen is, is making that look like it's black. For those that don't know, oh, is it black in there? Somebody marked it out. No. So the bubble is crystal clear, which is you know one of the things you look, for, look, look for in a Jedi card figure. You'll see a lot of tinted bubbles. And like the only condition issues I would, I would uh, cause any concern to me, a little bit of edge wear. Up here, you've got a little bit of uh, wear by the punch. And then you have a little spot there that looks like a... Looks like a markup, like a black marker. I can't tell, but it could just be. I don't know. I'm, that's this is how it came to me. So there it is. No price tags. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, lays flat. Good. Uh, all that stuff. This is a PG number 19. This will come with a star case as shown. Another really awesome piece for clear 65 Lando offer list for 169. I sold a yellow one in the same condition, maybe a little bit better for one fifth for 149. So what, another 20 bucks for a clear one in comparable shape. Displays absolutely great. No major issues other than the little stuff I was talking about there. So it's in that, you know, 7.5 range. Displayability looks good. No cracks in the bubble. None of that stuff. Weapon still taped. There you have it. Lando, crystal clear bubble, like I said. And when I say clear, it is no. there's no tint to where it has been. Uh, this would grade clear is my point. A lot of them people, oh, it's clear, and it's got the yellow tinge to it where it goes on the card. That's not clear. <laughs> I know it, the bubble's clear, but it's still not clear. Anyway, PG-19 for 169 There you have it. It's a ship price in the USA. Well, that's not a big deal on that. We'll throw the shipping on that. PG-19 for 169 on that. Boom. And uh, there you have it. Cool piece, man. Last card to figure in store. And then we're looking at some other collection. It's just a revolving door of Star Wars goodness. There you have it. PG-19 for 169 Clear Bubble Lando, 65 back. Okay, moving on. Back over to camera number two of the Black Series piece. PG-13, Chewbacca with goggles and his bowcaster. PG-13 for 19 bucks. There he is. A cool piece. I love the goggles in him. Just an awesome piece. Like I said, $25, $30 box. We just, just discounted about you know $10-ish, $7 to $10 is kind of how we do it from, from a box one. But there it is. PG-13 for $19. Taking the Chewbacca with goggles. That, uh, th these these are six inch scale. Six. Uh, these are the black series six inch scale. So he's actually a little bit taller than six inches because Chewbacca is a little bit taller than your average average Wookie. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Than your average character, right? PG thirteen for nineteen dollars. Chewbacca and uh, with goggles with uh, yeah with Yeti yeah. PG thirteen for nineteen dollars. Goggles, bandolier straps, and of course his bowcaster, ready to rock and roll. Walking carpet. Walking carpet. What are you looking at, right? Anyway, over here. Next piece coming up. This one is an awesome, awesome one that I just got in. And I've been getting some really cool stuff in lately, thanks to a lot of you fine folks out there doing a lot of trades and things like that. And also just, you know, call it luck, call it what you will. But here's a cool piece. This was a storyboard for Empire Strikes Back, which, oddly enough, I picked this up. Like, I think it was on the 40th. It just so happened to be. So there it is. So the cool thing about this is PG number 10. This is an actual storyboard used on the production of The Empire Strikes Back. And you can see it right there. Uh, it's the scene where the Millennium Falcon is underside Cloud City. And you can see um, Lando pointing at Luke. If you can see it. Sorry about the glare there. I'm going to turn it sideways. Uh, this way better. Probably, yeah. There you see right there, 100% original. You got the prop. Uh, this is what you want to see: the prop stores, uh, the prop store CAA, COA, which is this piece, obviously. Uh, one of the things you want to look for with these, they do make a lot um, different variations. This is, has the uh, the hole punches in it, which means it was actually used, and it even says here, uh, framed, signed, printed, production storyboard 
Lando spots Luke is what this one was called. I guess they're calling it. It is signed here by uh, the prop store guy here. And I can't tell the, the signature on there. Uh, whoever signed off on it. This is awesome. These are super cool. And the great thing about it is it's already framed. And you even have brackets here uh, that have never been installed. So this is basically a brand new piece, right? Um, super, super cool. So you can just hang it up on your wall, not to, not to frame anything. Awesome, awesome. PG number 10, $6.99, ESB storeboard. Production use deal here. I love movie stuff. It's kind of like my guilty pleasure. And I obviously love toys, but movie stuff, man, I just go crazy over it. I just love it. There it is. PG-10 for $6.99. This is a killer piece, and I love the Empire Strikes Back logo here. You get the prop store CLA, so no question that it's legit. They're kind of the authority when it comes to this stuff. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And on the back, of course, like I said, you've got no, no tears or rips. The uh, frame's in good shape. Just going over a few issues. Original production storyboard. Empire Strikes Back. This is the scene, of course, where they uh, they spot Lando, uh, spot Luke on that spire when he's hanging after his famous battle with Darth Vader, right? That's awesome. Uh, anything else? It talks about just elements and descriptions and what have you. Scene number 419B, 419B, frame count 89, production plate number, blah, 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 animation, etc. There it is. PG-10 for $699. That's a ship price to the United States. Anytime you see an asterisk, it's a ship price. I'll take care of the shipping on it. And it won't be cheap, but I will take care of it. But there it is. PG-10 for $699. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There it is. Boom. Sweet. Okay, move that over here before I drop it and uh, have to recertify it by somebody. Okay, back over to camera number two. Is this weapon not with him? Should be. Uh, should. It has to be. Okay. We'll just skip over that and go to a different one. Uh, PG-21 Mandalorian. I had a ton of these in three weeks ago. And they sold out. Or no, shoot me. Excuse me. Two months ago or something. Whatever it was. Sold out quickly. And then I did a trade with somebody. And I was looking online. I was like, holy crap. Expensive. PG-21 Mandalorian. 39 bucks. There you have it. Uh, David, I want to Pete, David, this is going to look spectacular in your room or wherever you're going to put this. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. That is one of those showstoppers. Man, you have this in your room, what have you, a lot of this stuff, and it's just, you look at it, and it's, somebody sees that, and they're just like, wow. And it's a wow. That's a wow factor, man. Cool piece and great pickup right there. See you comes with it. You're good to go, man. You're Who is it? Jamie Connors. Jamie Connors. Good to hear your name, sir. Jamie Connors. Mandalorian stuff, it's just hot, hot, hot. Can't keep it in. More stuff is coming out, though. And, uh, the, of course, the new season, I think, comes out next year or what have you. Anyway, uh, back over here. Um, where are we at? Uh, you having trouble with her? Okay. I'm going to go. What's that? Oh, it's not popping up on the screen yet. Um, there it is. Okay. Ba oh, this is a cool one. Back to camera two. We have the uh, collar, the burned out Phasma, right? I actually like this figure because I got up close to it and saw the burn marks on it. They did an awesome job on this Black Series Phasma. PG-18 for $14. Budget uh, Black Series piece. Capes there. Weapons there. Good to go. But no, he has a long rifle. It's all right. No big deal. And there it is. PG-18 for 14 bucks. Taking Phasma. Another cool piece. Gotta love it. Okay, moving along. Back over here to me. Sorry if you get your delay there. Now that this is a cool one here. Matthew yes. S. Wants Matthew S. Taking PG-18. Thank you, sir. Don't forget to contact us, folks. After the sale, we're taking care of your PayPal, and we'll ship you out. The faster you contact us, the faster we can get you boxed up, and the quicker we ship you, obviously. And we try to get everything off the next day, two days at the latest, but our goal is to get everything shipped out by tomorrow, by noon. That's, that's like my, my test. I, like If I can get everything out by noon, I feel like I've accomplished something with my life. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, PG-8 up here, archive figure, one of the coolest figures ever made. Uh, the, the Biker Scout, 29 bucks for the Biker Scout. There it is. Uh, bubbles in good shape. I remember these archive thing came, things came out. I had a whole bunch of these as well, and they sold out ridiculously fast. Of course, there was Luke Jedi, among others, I believe. I forget which ones they were. But Scout Trooper, uh, uh, 2014, it says. Anyway, that's what it says in the back here. Oh, when it came out in the Black Series, when it came out in the Black Series uh, with the... Uh, uh, Speeder. PG-8 for 29 bucks. We've got a few more things coming your way, so stand by. Appreciate it. Don't forget to contact us after the sale. We're taking care of you via PayPal and ship you out. Thanks for joining us on Facebook and YouTube. 
YouTube is probably the best option for you guys. But there it is, PG-8 for $29, Scout Trooper. And I just love this figure. Uh, like I said, he only came out on the Black Series with the speeder bike, and then they put him on this archive card. PG-8 for $29. I'm not sure I know what to feel about the archive card. I like it because they're smaller than the Black Series boxes, but it's something different. It's cool. Anyway, PG-8, $29 for the... Uh, uh, the the uh, uh, Scout Trooper. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give somebody a shot at this one again. I had it out last week, two weeks ago, whatever it was, I forgot. And I had a lot of people hit me up on it, you know, want to do some trades here and there. And I just like, you know, kind of has to admit the right situation. But this is a cool Burger King display. This is the Mac Daddy. This is the largest Burger King display they ever made for the Star Wars Vintage line. And there it is right there it stands about six foot six feet tall and about four feet wide at the base three eh, three and a half four feet wide at the base it is an absolutely impeccable condition no issues at all it's basically an unused display the cool thing about it is we transition over here it has all the pieces that have never been applied to the item that would uh, have our 3d effect this will make an awesome display for your man cave and then back over here just shows you that it's folded up this is how it comes folded in the original bag that it came in. And then, of course, what would be uh, this display without the shipper? Boom! I had this at $19.99 last week. I want to discount it heavily if somebody really wants this. Mind you, the shipping is included with this. And I have the a box that will fit in. It's probably going to be like $100 to ship. But just to, to, to quell any worries out there, to just say, eh, whatever. PG-50 is $14.99. That is an awesome deal, especially for that shipper. Uh, I just made a new one. Uh, PG-50 for $14.99. That is a killer deal because of the shipper. The shipper alone, you never see those things. This is an absolutely ridiculous shape. I hate to say the word mint because it's just... Eh, but whatever. You call it what you will. That, use that word if you like. It's it's that nice. Anyway, PG-50 for $14.99. The display is awesome. Yeah, a staple of your man cave collection or something just to walk up to and say, wow, this is a time machine. Anyways, back over to camera number two. We have another piece in the Black Series item. We have got a Praetorian, uh, wrong, wrong way, Praetorian Guard. Where's it at? <laughs> there we go. Praetorian Guard, 100% complete. There he is, PG-6, $14. Of course, this is from the from the uh, uh, Last Jedi. No, anyway, um, yeah, The Last Jedi. I apologize. There it is, PG-14 for six, uh, PG-6, 14 bucks. Really cool figure. Just solid red with his, I guess you call that, staff slash axe slash killing thing i'm not sure what that's called i'm sure it was on the black series box but these are all box but these are all loose so i have no idea anyway pg6 14 bucks is a nice black series figure don't forget to contact us folks after the uh, sale we get you taken care of via paypal we will ship you out manana or the next day depending so just stand by um you get your tracking information usually via paypal unless you pay with friends which is great and then i'll just do what you can on that okay back over to camera number two Oh, no. oh, crap, I forgot about these. PG-5. I've got a couple of these left. I sold the other one earlier. PG-5 for 24 bucks. This was, uh, we sold one earlier. Like I said, one of the first things we sold. But here it is again. 100% complete. Funko complete, of course. 100% brand new with the tags. This is the 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back lunchbox. The Star Wars, the lunchbox. <laughs> like uh, like uh, the flamethrower from Spaceballs. PG-5 for 24. Alan G. Alan G. Taking it. Matthew S, PG-6, and Ma uh, Alan G, PG-5. Okay, stepping over here, I've got one more of these as well. This is PG-15. This is the extra large shirt for this Empire Strikes Back 40th anniversary from Funko. I had, this only had two of them. only got two different sizes. PG-15 for 29 bucks. There it is. The shirt's on the back. You can see it. It has the game style piece right there, arcade style box. You can open it up, obviously. I personally would because the shirt's a shirt and it's badass, but you're welcome to keep it in there, obviously. But there it is. PG-15 for 29 bucks. Still factory seal, Funko piece. Uh, 40th anniversary, uh, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, video game style. Awesome. Even got the video header on there. That's killer, right? Anyway, you can actually wear that piece, right? That's a cool item. So there you have it on that front. Boom. What's that? You're okay. Give me one second. Get, it, get a little bit caught up. Uh, sometimes our camera, too, uh, standing figures up is kind of problematic, so just give us a second. Um, Alan G wants PG-15. Alan G wants PG-15. Man, that's a cool piece, Alan. 
You'll like that one. And I like wearable stuff. You can take it out if you want to. If not, it's still a cool box, right? Thank you, Alan. Appreciate that. Okay. Back over to camera number two. Another this was came out of this came out of the four pack of the guards. This is the uh what's what's his name? Are there PG twenties? Is this the blue guards is that what I call it? No, no, PG twenty twenty nine? No, that's wrong. I, okay. Take that, that number down. Put it like PG fifty one. I'm sorry. PG fifty one is what this was going to be called because uh, d I messed up on the numbers. That's my fault. I apologize. PG-5129. This came out of the four-pack exclusive. You could only get this piece out of that pack. And this was called, I forgot what guard he was named. Golly. One second. I've got to figure out how his name was because it's going to drive me in. It's going to drive me crazy. Um, um, uh, it is called the... Uh, the uh, it's going to crack. It's going to crack. It's going to kill me. Uh, Senate, guard. Senate Guard. Somebody, I knew somebody would chime in. That's why I love you guys. You guys have all the information. The Senate Guard, PG-51 for 29 And this was a, a Amazon pack exclusive. I do know that. I'm pretty sure of that. It was either Amazon or Entertainment Earth. I forget. You could get these four exclusive guards that you could only get out of that pack, and this is one of them. So there it is, PG-51 for 29 if you need it. And uh, I know nothing about it other than the fact that it came out of that pack. I don't really follow... All the different guards and what have you. I know you guys do. There you have it. I've got, I've got enough. What's that? I've got enough to deal with because it's, it's catching up with it. I've got enough to deal with just vintage stuff. All right. Last one. We have PG4 for 24. Our last lunchbox. There it is. 40th anniversary. Get it while you can. We had three of them. We sold two of them. The other two pieces, we had two of them. We sold that. Boom. PG4 for $24. PG9 for $24. I can't read my own damn writing. PG nine for twenty four. Have to hire somebody to do this for me. PG nine for twenty four dollars. Cool lunchbox. Fortieth anniversary. Star Wars iconic scene. Boom. To who? Yeah. Okay. John Wall, you got it, my man. Over there near Altus, Oklahoma. Okay. Um. Let's see. What we got next. Um. Okay. Let's do, are you, are you out over there? No. Okay. Let's do this piece. Let's go over PG at number eight. Let's get some of this stuff out. I gotta, I'm going to have a percentage here. I'm going to kill these out. PG number eight. Let's do this. Black Series Scout Trooper Archive. Still below uh, what they're selling for. PGA for $24 for the, for the uh, Scout Trooper. There you have it. And then let's just do this. This is going to be ridiculous. PG-19 is the Lando. We're going to do this for $159. Clear bubble Lando. C7 minimum condition on this. Uh, clear bubble Lando. PG-19. Uh, is this 19? Yeah, PG-19 for $159. Just, just little discounts on a few of these if you need them. Great. If not, they'll go back on the shelf. No problem at all. Clear Bubble Lando, PG-9 for 159 and PG... Yeah. Mr. Sankton? Mr. Sankton, okay. Uh, wasn't that, um, who was that? Mr. Okay. Mr. Okay, I got that. And then, PG-9 for 159 is a Clear Bubble Lando, C7. That's, uh, I, you can't, you can't go wrong with these nice cards. Figure if they're clear. Finding Jedi cards clear is tough. Okay. And I think that was just okay. One second. Shorten on that. Sorry, I didn't know your name there. I got you. I'll, I'll write. I'll write your name on there so I know. That way, being all being all sneaky on me, all your screen names and handles and all that stuff. I, I see the game you're playing. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, We'll get camera two fired up here in a moment. And we got, if you want to hand me, I'll just do them right here if you want to hand me them. Yeah. That way I don't have to mess up. Oh, this piece. This is a sick deal here. This is going to be PG number se 17. Boxed, uh, this box sells for like 120 bucks. Wampa with Luke. There it is. The Wampa itself is just badass, right? Then you get Luke with his blaster and with his blue saber pg17 for 69 bucks that's like 50 bucks off a box one sometimes more but conservatively 50 dollars off a box one if you just want to loose it and this i love the wampa he's heavy 
You see the blood in his mouth? Rawr. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, let's see. Let's do a little swat. Push, push, push. <laughs> it's hard to play with them. They're so big. But there it is. PG-17 for $69. Killer deal on this set if you need a Black Series Wampa. And they are awesome. Let's see. Let's play. Let's, let's, let's play. Let's play. Not, now he's just being friends with them. So he's got his hand around him. Battery's about to... Uh, maim him. PG-17 for 69 bucks. There it is. Like I said, boxed are about 110, 120 bucks. Sometimes more. So you want it loose, complete. There you go. 100% complete with the saber and the DL44. Uh, <laughs> looks like. Hi, this is my friend Luke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyways, PG-17 for 69 dollars. Wampa with Luke. And is that was that it? Okay, that's it. That's it, campers. Let us know what you have via, via Messenger on Facebook. You have to contact us on Facebook. Come over to Facebook. I know that's kind of a pain in the butt, but let us know on Facebook what you had. You're taken care of via PayPal and shipped out. Lots of cool stuff happening in the next couple weeks. I keep saying that. It just keeps on rolling. I get backed up on something because I have to buy another collection or go look at somewhere here. Lots of cool stuff coming. We're going to do another non-Star Wars show for too long with Transformers, Mask, Key Man, superpowers whatever else movie stuff i've got just tons of stuff rolling in appreciate you guys tuning in you guys have a great day stay safe and adios